Stefan Borson has stopped by um, finance expert of course top of our tree when it comes to football finance Stefan we want to move on many people saying yeah come on tell us what's the latest regards Manchester City's 115 charges for alleged breaches of the Premier League's financial rules it began last Monday now we know that Am I right? The process potentially will last between 10 and 12 weeks. What do you know, if anything? Do you know where this is happening in London? Yeah, so we now, it was where I suspected it was going to take place, which is just behind St. Paul's. There's a uh, the well, it's inter- near me. I'll go up. International Dispute Resolution Centre, which is a uh, quite a typical place for arbitrations of this type. Uh, and so it wasn't a surprise there, and it meant that the lawyer... Uh, which is the legal the legal press were outside getting a photograph of the lawyers coming in to confirm that it had kicked off uh, last Monday uh, and to confirm that it was being held there. Uh, that's a problem a little bit for them because it means now that there may well be photographers outside as witnesses come in. Uh, so over the next few weeks, what we're going to see, mm. so we've probably got a situation where last week and maybe maybe today, maybe yesterday, they're doing what's known as um, uh, openings. So both parties, so first of all, the Premier League will set out their case to the panel uh, without a response. Uh, so there won't be a sort of interaction. They will have their time, probably two or three days. They'll take the panel through some of the key paperwork and some of the key uh, witnesses that they're going to hear from and, uh, and witness evidence that they say supports their case. And then City will do the same. And then we'll get into the nub of the, the evidence and of the witness evidence. And first of all, you'll have witnesses for the Premier League. And you wouldn't imagine there'll be very many of those because this is very much about what City have done. So then we'll switch to City's um, evidence. And that will be a number of people and it will take a number of weeks. And, and what's interesting about the uh, Premier League's side, and we've talked about this many times before, Simon and I, uh, in this studio about the cost. And what's interesting is the Premier League have got an enormous team. Okay, so the Premier League's uh, barristers, uh, barrister team is council team has got two KCs and six junior barristers. And saying junior barristers sounds like they're all sort of, you know, straight out of university. They're not. They're not. So you have senior juniors and they've got three senior juniors. So they've got two KCs and three senior juniors and three junior juniors. Now, what that means is an indicator <laughs> is that almost certainly there are a whole load of witnesses that need to be cross-examined by the Premier League. So Manchester City's witnesses have already given witness statements, so they will have said their version of events, and then the Premier League will get the opportunity over the next few weeks to cross-examine them. And so the KCs will effectively try and extract from those witnesses uh, a version of events that maybe differs from their uh, written statements, uh, leading to a finding they would hope yeah. uh, by the panel that they're not credible witnesses and therefore the Premier League are right. Because we know that the City witnesses are likely to give evidence that's in line with what they gave to Cass. And at Cass, the City witnesses gave unequivocal, unequivocal evidence that they did not do what is alleged. And so really the challenge for the Premier League will be to undermine that evidence in person by cross-examination, which is why the Premier League, I assume, has got such a large team. You, you, you've changed your tune as to whether or not this should be played out in public, Simon. Yeah, I have. You didn't think so to start with, now you do. But unfortunately, that ship has sailed. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I often rail against the sense of entitlement that the media has. And then I counsel myself to think that sport in this country, in some extent, has been built by the media. So there is a, an element of sport owes the debt to the media to be able to repay it. So the media does have a, a role in this. And then you look at the balance between sunlight's the best, the best, the best disinfectant. If you want to keep an independent commission honest, and I don't mean honest in terms of their integrity, I mean focused on the task, then you can have the ability to be able to scrutinise what they're doing. I differ from Stefan and the view. I think that there has been contradictions in the witness evidence that was given at CAS and subsequently what they've said post that hearing that they'll be able to delve into. And I do think that ultimately people in influential positions do say things that are untrue. Hence the reasons why we've had Enron, hence the reasons why we've had the post office and a whole raft of other conspiracies that have involved involved people not saying things that are true. So I think it's entirely plausible that influential people that have relationships with Manchester City that commercially benefit them are capable of saying things that aren't true. 
So I do want them fully interrogated, and I do want this unequivocal, irrefutable, undeniable evidence that Man City have talked about for such a long time being brought out to either kill this or cure it. Because I think if they had all that, they would have done it previously. Hmm. I think they've relied on technicalities, time bars, and heavyweight lawyers to get them through certain things, and different burdens of obligation upon different hearings have enabled that. They haven't been not found guilty of things. They've been obstructive, and, and I don't find that an attitude that endears it, itself to me. I don't think they should volunteer information, but if they're being accused of things and it's so outrageous and heinous what they're being accused of, I would have thought the first thing they wanted to do was, was put forward the evidence in the most unequivocal fashion to avoid even being dragged into the indignity of right, these charges. Right. But they don't. As well as all that, Stefan, a verdict into City's landmark legal challenge of Associated Party financial rules is expected imminently. Um, is that even more important than the 115 charges? No, it's definitely not more important for City. I, I would say it's largely irrelevant for City. And compared to the 130 charges, actually, um, it pales into insignificance. Um, I think it's actually, ironically, more important maybe for Newcastle, uh, maybe for Everton, if they're bought uh, by Freakin. Um, all of a sudden, it becomes more important for other teams. But, you know, it, it's a the, the APT case is a technical competition law a hearing about about a set of, set of rules. The the one hundred and thirty one one five charges are allegations of the most serious nature, as we talked about before. And I, I think just to uh, just just in terms of Simon's point, if we've got a ten to twelve week hearing uh, with, uh, as I say, at least eight barristers on the Premier League side, I think it's going to be very difficult for anybody to hide behind uh, conspiracy or a suggestion that that panel is not able to get to the truth. We will get, at the end of this hearing, a, an extremely detailed uh, decision. It will, it will span at least 200 pages. It could be more than 400. Um, it will set out in some detail both the facts as they heard them, uh, uh, the witness evidence as they heard it, and the credibility of those witnesses. And I think uh, there's really no hiding place. If you are being cross-examined, for 10 weeks in a hearing by the best barristers around. And, and it's not just City that have got the best barristers. This is, this is eight uh, but in the uh, cold barristers light of, from In Blackstone. the cold light of day, we've seen some of the most ridiculous decisions being made in courtrooms around the world. And this is, not, this is, this is a huge moment in time for a nation state owning a football club. This is, this is, if, if this were found to be true, this unwinds the whole modus operandi of what they sought to achieve, which is a form of image laundering, is a form of representation through institutional assets like football clubs that opens the doors to certain things that they want. It's an absolute discreditation. So the political influence that comes to play here yeah. and, the, and the level of importance attached to this is significant. That is why yeah. it becomes more clear to me that transparency is of benefit yeah. because the independent commission will have pressures but, to but bear. But it's a bit of a conspiracy theory because you've got to a point where if it was all as simple as you've just laid out and it was all just going to be swept under the carpet, there's a very funny way to do I, it I because they've charged them with 130 breaches. Yeah, but, the thing has gone on for nearly know, five years. But we know that, and that's because of Man City it's and the not, delays. It's and, not just because of and City. And also because of the time elements of who goes first and how the structuring of things are done and waiting for arbitration of sport to be able to hear the UEFA case. So there's a whole raft of things sure. that go in front of it. it but the bottom, the bottom line is is that there is real jeopardy in this and real challenge, mm. and so there'll be well, significant But isn't that the it. point? So there is real jeopardy. Yeah. So the point is that well, this would be a very funny way to sweep it under the carpet. I didn't say they're going to sweep it under the to, carpet. To, to, to perform this, yeah, uh, this think, very think, grand 130 charges, and then a 10 to 12 but, week but we trial, not, the bottom line is this, and guys, a 200 page judgment. The bottom judgment. line is this, we're at 11 o'clock. In a sentence, Stefan, when will you be coming in to say to us, OK, news from the city hearing? <laughs> January, I suspect. I don't think it'll be January, actually. You, you know, this is where... Because if you well, remember... Before or after? No, it's going to take a long time. Either City are going to settle, you know, with the Premier League. Which is what I think they'll do. Right? Which does happen. It becomes increasingly difficult during the hearing. Yeah. But if not, it's going to take... It's already taken three months for the APT hearing. The APT was a two-week hearing about mm. a, a, com a technical competition law point. Yeah. It's already taken three months to get the decision on he's, that. He's 57 today. He might months. be 58 by the time we know. He could be. Okay. 60. By the, time they, by the time they get sanctioned. Stephen Barton, not for the first time. We thank you, sir. It's 11 o'clock. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.